off another day. And uh, I'm going, to, I, last night I came in late and I made this little coffee pot. I'll show you in better detail in a couple of seconds here. But uh, it's just too small. And so I'm going to make it another one. And that's about all I'm going to have time to do today is make the pot. This is uh, the uh, bean can here. And uh, that I placed on the uh, uh, base. I think I know what I'm going to do in this area here. I'm probably going to have, uh, well, I'll get to that when I get to it, because my mind may change and, and I'll look like a dang fool. Anyway, this is the coffee pot I made, and as you can see, it's just a little too small. And so, I'm going to make one a little bit bigger. I've been shaping this clay. This is the pot that I did originally, yes, it was, yes last night. and. Uh, I'm just trying to get it shaped. I saw a uh, little comedy skit on on uh, YouTube from old TV, black and white TV, where John Wayne was on, I guess, the Red Skelton show as a guest. And uh, if you don't know who Red Skelton is, he's a real famous comedian from the 40s and 50s. Um, he was probably one of the best comedians of all time on television. Uh, he was such a, a genius. The only one that comes close to his abilities, I think, nowadays is uh, Robin uh, Williams. Anyway, they, they were doing a sketch, John Wayne and, and Red Skelton, and it uh, had to do with uh, a couple of guys looking for each other and it turns out they were both the guy that was looking for the other guy and uh, they both had a patch on one of their eyes and uh, Red Skelton or the waitress stepped out for a few minutes and John Wayne took a coffee pot that was sitting on the counter and it was about the size of this one here and that's where I got the uh, idea for the size of the coffee pot. Right now I'm trying to make the spout. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up my knife blade because it's dragging the clay a little bit when I cut and so it makes it distorts it a little bit. Anyway, I got to meet Red Skelton years ago, back in the 90s. Uh, he was performing at Caesars in Lake Tahoe, California. And I just happened to be showing at the gallery there at Caesars. And I was in the lobby of the casino, uh, outside the gallery, sculpting. And I can't remember what I was sculpting at the time, but I had a, a friend with me. Uh, a comedian, or not a comedian, but a clown, and she uh, worked for Barnum and Bailey Circus. And so when Red Skelton stopped by to see what I was doing, and then started talking to me and her uh, about artwork, because if you don't know it, Red Skelton uh, painted clowns, and was really famous for his uh, clown paintings. And uh, so we talk, talked about 45 minutes or so, and then a couple of old ladies uh, with pink hair came up and started fawning all over uh, Red Skelton, and so he gave me this uh, defeated look and walked off. He had to get going, he said. And it was just a privilege to get to meet him. And he gave me permission to go see his show, and uh, I went and saw it, and oh my God, it was so funny. That guy was just amazing. <clears throat> I'm thinking... There we go. Now we got the uh, spout. I'm going to use this clay shaper to sort of shape the out a little bit. This is a 
silicone tool that I got from a supply place. I'll put the address up on the uh, video. This uh, leaves less marks. It's like uh, a finger smoothing out uh, the things that you need smoothing out and, and doing it in such a way that it doesn't uh, overdo it. Now I'll make a lid for the pot. Now the pot lid would, would more than likely be, have a hinge on it so you could pop it open and drop your coffee in the water. And the paintings I've seen from the 1800s show it with a couple of little round platforms. And I'll just use the clay shaper to just take out the sharp edge of the uh, the rise here. Alright, I got my baling wire. What I'm going to do is make the handle. Alright, I'm just going to make the handle. I'm going to try it. where this tool is going to come in real handy here. Now, the uh, handle itself would have a, a wooden thing to keep the hand from being burnt when you pick up the pot. And so I'm going to just... Uh, Put a wooden handle on this. By cutting a piece of rolled clay in half and then just joining them together. Use this to blend the clay together. It's really gentle, the silicone in how it works the clay. I dare say it's probably gentler than my finger would be. song comes to mind, I'm a little teapot, short and stout, here's my handle, here's my spout, tip me over and pour me out. I know that's probably not the song, but last time I sung it was in kindergarten. back in the 50s when I was a kid in Rhode Island, Quonset Point. All right, this is, uh, I just put the old the pot that I had made the last night next to this one. You can see it's a little bit bigger, not hugely big, but it's bigger. I don't know, it may still be too small. But I'm going to take this over to uh, uh, my friend, at the shed horn sporting goods store who's a, a ranch gal and see what she says i think i put my screw under the wood here <laughs> oh no oh no I did. Yeah, it's. I gotta figure out what 
figure out exactly where it is. It's right in here. So I gotta cut out some clay. <laughs> Uh, wasn't thinking too clearly when I did that. I'll just cut out a square of clay and see if I can find it. Easy. Ah, there it is. Not a good thing to cover up your screw. Again, that's it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.